Hey everybody, this is Jason Ritchie back with another YouTube 2 lesson and right there is Vesta. So uh, today I'm going to teach you guys a cool little tongue blocking uh, exercise that I call the Moss Man Prophecies. It's just a little thing I learned from listening to Nick Moss who has probably got it from somebody else. But it's like a little guitar lick um, that's really easy for harmonica and is best played tongue blocking. So by tongue blocking, I mean, you know, I'm going to put my mouth over, you know, f you know, three or four holes. And then I'm going to block one if I want to play two. I'm going to block two if I want to play three. I'm going to block three if I want to play four. So this takes a little bit of practice. Um... If you've never tongue blocked before, it's um, something worth like messing around with because it's a whole different way to get um, better like uh, rhythms for Chicago blues and uh, that kind of music. So, uh, you know, it's got its own different sound. You know, like if I were to like today, we're going to be working on a lift. On a, on a lick that goes from three draw to four blow to three draw and then maybe does some other stuff below that but you know if I were to play that lip pursing it would sound like this so I can still put in some rhythmic stuff like But I really can't get it as great as I want it to be. Like, you know, one of the great things about tongue blocking, you know, and, and some of the Chicago blues stuff is it really sets up the drummer to know what you're going to do. You know, you're giving him that backbeat that you would hear on a shuffle. Getting that whole kind of patat patat patum patat, and you know, like uh, music is melody, rhythm, and harmony. So you know, you're getting all three of those things really strong when you're tongue blocking. Um, you know, I have other videos like debating the legitimacy of lip pursing and um, <clears throat> and like negating why you should only do one. And that's you know, that's another. I mean, you know, I believe in doing both, but we're just here to talk about tongue blocking today. So there's some cool stuff that you can do tongue blocking that you absolutely cannot do lip pursing. And, you know, in my opinion, tone isn't one of those things. I think you can get great tone both ways. Again, I'm not here to debate about that, but like this rhythmic element that you get a this certain kind of rhythmic element that you get with tongue blocking. There's a certain thing to that that, you know, I just can't get lip pursing. No matter how much I slop it up, I can't. Now, you know, there is a tone shift too. I don't know if it's better or not, but it's definitely desirable, you know, especially for certain kinds of music like uh, Chicago blues. So anyway, let's get right to the exercise. Um, what we got is a three draw, four blow, three draw. So I'm going to need to put my mouth, my mouth over holes one, two, and three, and then put my tongue on holes one and two. that so I'm taking my tongue on and off to get that kind of you know now the harder I inhale and slap at the same time the more boxy that's gonna sound you know
let's get to the rest of it. So it's just, that's me playing, you know, one, two, and three, putting my, my mouth over holes one and two and just getting three. So then I'm gonna block three and then just get four blow, okay? So I'm trying to get. Take a minute and try it. Good job. With a little bit of practice, you're gonna have it. <laughs> So I'm just, you know, it's part of the practice of it is getting that late slap. Boo-dap, boo-deep, boo-dap, boo-dap, boo-deep, boo-bop. So I'm actually breathing, boo-bop, and then that tongue is coming down, you know. Boom-bop, boom-beep, boom-bop. So I'm getting that. great little tongue blocking exercise <clears throat> so anyway you know and I, and I can add to it okay so I can okay so or I can go up Some of the stuff that I'm doing here rhythmically, you know, like this, where I'm kind of like delaying the lick and then coming in a little later, like. <laughs> a lot of that stuff comes from, you know, just time blocking a lot. Like, it, like those kind of cool rhythmic ideas of, you know, toying with the melody, well, you know, essentially swing, comes from just the armature itself is very inspiring for, like, <laughs> that kind of stuff. So if, like, if you're thinking about swing or if you're you're interested in the way, like, that little Walter was swinging, you know, in particular, like, uh, this, this armature is definitely worth the temporary discomfort, you know, or, or you know, which can be very long. Okay, or, or not, depending upon how hard you're practicing it. You know, I, I know for myself, like, it's something I toyed with in the closet, you know, in a, a closet tongue blocker for, like, many years. Like, you know, I'd, I'd go on tour and I'd play all my gigs lip pursing, you know, except for octaves. <laughs> Right, but then when I'd get home, I would sit out on the porch or sit here and I'd practice tongue blocking, you know, just for fun. Like, like almost like I was giving myself a handicap, you know, just trying to make the harmonica more fun again <clears throat> by giving myself something challenging. So if you look at it like that, you know, it's not going to be as, as laborious as, as, uh, as, as it could be. I mean, you're going to have those feelings while you're learning this and, and just be easy on yourself. You know, it's, this thing's supposed to be fun and there's no need to learn it overnight. And, you know, the, the way I'm coming at you now with this exercise here, you know, you might be trying it right now and going, God, I just can't, I can't even get one note. I can't even get the three draw. Well, believe me, if, if, if I could have, you know, taken this YouTube episode and sent it to myself, like even nine years ago or something, I, I, I'd have been like, just as frustrated as you, okay? You know, I mean, I didn't even learn about tongue blocking until like 2004 or five or something. And when, when Dennis Grenling explained to me that he was playing every single note tongue blocking, including Ben's. 
And I, I didn't know that, you know, and I had been playing little Walter and I had been, you know, faking the tongue blocking parts. <laughs> You know, I'm doing a pretty good job of imitating that tongue blocking sound. But when I got up to holes four, four blow, four draw, five blow, five draw, <clears throat> that's when I started realizing, you know, there was something I was missing. You know, that, um, that there was definitely something absent. And so thank God to D, to Dennis for um, hipping me to that, you know. And it started the beginning of a very fun journey into um, the cool elements of tongue blocking. So anyway, let's get back to the riff. So <clears throat> you notice it changed. The only thing that changed was I started bending three. So like I was telling you, Dennis told me you could bend. Now this is gonna probably take some practice because you're not bending with your tongue anymore. Right, you're bending kind of with the back of your throat. Right there under that 93 that I'm um, you know there's something's happening in the back of my throat to make that so this is a new way to bend okay um, and that's you know daunting at first so you know the other thing to remember too is that this new way of bending can actually be applied to lip pursing too okay so like you know there's certain times especially on the three hole where you want to kind of bend like your tongue blocking so even though I'm lip pursing I'm still I'm not using my tongue to get that bend you know so there's certain times when I'm lip pursing like on that three hole where I just want that slight bend where I'll employ the actual tongue blocking bend you know what's funny guys is that I, I was doing that before I was tongue block bending because I could feel that it was a superior way of bending. Um, you know, by superior, I mean, I mean more accurate for me, okay? That's, that's what I mean. So like, you know, there's cer certain things about tongue blocking bending that are really frustrating, just getting that first note. I know, I know D Carp says just to tighten up the side of your face, because you know, you're bending out of the corner of your mouth, so like, I don't know that you <laughs> that you have to do that, okay? But but whatever it takes, I think is what Deke is trying to tell you, you know. And just just be nice to yourself during this process, you know. So I can still get all the. You know, that vibrato, that jaw vibrato, or breath vibrato. I can still get the uh, double stop. You know, so there's no reason to, you know, I'm not, I'm not losing much, okay? If anything, I'm gaining something sometimes. So, you know, and again, you know, I don't think this armature is perfect for everything in music, but it's really good for blues and chunky stuff and, you know, New Orleans kind of, you know, swinging lazy rhythms. It's a lot of fun. So anyway, so, you know, the, 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 this exercise includes a bend. So the first four times I'm going to do it without the bend. review. 
So the first four times I'm playing three draw, four blow, three draw. 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 I hope that was four. And then the second time I'm playing three bend, half step, four blow, bend. Three bend, four blow, three bend. <laughs> Now, see, it's going to take some practice, so maybe, you know, learn to get the band first. You just want that first one. And then you'll be able to slap right into the band. Last one on the five one actually bent it double. So let's let's do the whole thing together. Ready? Nice and slow. Ready? So a couple of these licks I was putting in here, just in case you're doing really good at this already, um, is three draw, four blow, three draw, down to two draw, two blow. All tongue blocking. in is up to four draw down to four blow. And I'm, you know, doing the single note knock the octave. I'm not going. I'm just keeping it a single note. So that means I got to block three holes, you know, again to get to that four draw.
yeah, I can just vamp on one hole much easier. If I was lip pursing, I'd really have to put a lot of extra <clears throat> bells and whistles in there to get that. They're both cool, you know what I mean? It's it's not a matter of, you know, one or the other. It's, it's just a matter of, um, you know, getting interested in the advantages and in, in, in subsequent disadvantages of both, okay? So... Sometimes I stand up. It's not always good to practice sitting down because if I stand up, I can really get that that air flowing through my whole body, and it and it just feels great, you know. And uh, I can kind of get some more of that uh, that rhythm going. Okay. So anyway, that's uh, pretty good for this. If you guys want more of this kind of stuff, this like traditional stuff, you know, I think a lot of my fan base comes here, my YouTube fan base anyway, comes here because there's like, this is more of a modern lip pursing overblow kind of YouTube channel. And um, maybe you guys um, are looking for something else sometimes too. So maybe, you know, maybe this lesson is for you. If you want more of these lessons that just you know, explore some of this stuff. That's, you know, it's great for me. It, it, it helps me to practice so that I can get them out to you in a way that I think is um, hopefully pretty good and kind of correct. Anyway, some guys to listen to right away, you know, you know, little Walter, uh, you, you know, uh, Mark Hummel is a good one. Uh, <clears throat> Dennis Grunling is a very great tongue blocker. Of course, Mitch Kashmar, um, Steve Geiger, you know, these are monster tongue blockers that really have that backbeat and that lazy rhythm and some of that, uh, that swing element that comes from being such a hardcore, <laughs> you know, tongue blocker. You know, of course, Joe Felisco. I mean, if you don't say that name in the same paragraph is tongue blocking and you haven't been studying harmonica for very long so anyway yeah felisco grunling you know geiger mitch you know steve these are you know big heavy cats you know kim wilson does it too kim does a lot of mixing like i do mixing the two different things but you know the other guys i mentioned are just like hardcore you know, I mean, like, when Kim does it, it's, like, just as good as those guys. It's just, like, he's just not as hardcore, like, all the time about it. Like, because he's got other shit he's trying to do. <laughs> anyway, I love all those guys, and you guys are great. I appreciate it. Um, you know, if you're, uh, if you got a little, a few extra bucks, you know, hit the PayPal button. And, uh, you know, send me a PayPal at jasonrichie1 at gmail.com. Um, I appreciate that. If, uh, if you don't, don't worry about it. I do this, uh, I do these lessons for me. It's a way to give back, um, to a world that has given me so much, so freely. So, uh, um, I really appreciate it and, uh, come see the band. Check out my website, www.mooncat.org or jasonrichie.net, whichever is easier to remember. I got tour dates and CDs and stuff like that up there. Thank you all very much. Good evening.